but do I think of Putin? I think that when I'm a guest in somebody's house, it's not wise to insult them. And I'm really in a lose-lose situation to answer this one or the other, because if I say he's a wonderful person, then I get accused of being a propagandist. And if I already get accused of being a propagandist just for being a Russian or a traitor, and if I criticize him, then it puts me in a dangerous place. So I've just taken a position that I don't really comment on. I mean, imagine that you're a homeless person, and some Muslim people take you in, and you're a Christian. Do you sit and insult the religion? It's not very wise. And the thing people don't understand is that I have Russian family. I lived in Russia from 2001 to 2004 and off and on to So I didn't just fly to Russia, I returned here. If you were someone who lived inside the United States or returned to the United States, people wouldn't accuse you of being a traitor for living in the United States to his family and returning there. But that's the position I'm in. Now, as far as why people wonder why Putin is popular, well, I lived here 20 years ago and the country was falling apart. Okay? And the United States falling apart. And when I came back here, the last time I was here in 2008, when I came back here last year after 15 years, it was like landing in a different country. Public transport works. The country has gone through major developments. Now, whatever you think about the conflict, internal in the country, we're just living here. Putin has done some amazing things to bring forward the development of this country. Now, your Western news is giving all kinds of propaganda to COVID. But the heating's failing. Okay, let's talk about Flint, Michigan. Now, imagine the news over here showed Flint, Michigan and said, the United States is falling apart. They can't even keep their water supplies. Yeah, you can take isolated cases. But well, what about the villages? Yeah, I'm sure we could go to West Virginia and find some people living in poverty there. That's not the entire United States. And so the Western media is not doing you any service by showing you these incidents and not really showing you the context. Russia internally is doing fine despite the sanctions. And that's not propaganda to say it. I just call it like I see it. And that's exactly what's going on. So if you wonder why Putin's popular, it's because he's making the country work. And I'm not talking about the conflict whatsoever. But all of you criticizing the conflict one or the other, and all I'll say about that is I want peace. There are people dying on both sides. I'm anti-war. I want peace. Just like I did in Iraq. And all of you criticizing it, you had no problem with your government, you Americans, killing half a million or a million Iraqis, and you were just quiet. You know why? Because you had your own lives to live. You have work, you have things to do. And for me to take one position on the conflict one way or another, how is it going to help? It doesn't help my situation, and it's only a lose-lose situation again. I'm going to piss off one side or the other. So all of you want to take a position, how is it going to help? Let's see, I come out for it or against it. What, you think I'm going to change the minds of my followers? So no. I don't talk about Russian politics. I don't talk about the conflict. And I post things from Russia just as they are. And if they post positive, it doesn't match the Western news. That's not propaganda. That's just the way things are.